Hey, hey, Vinyl Community, Jeff here. I want to do a quick video, a little different than the rest. It is music related, but it's more, uh, I don't know, documentary. Um, the other day, so, okay, I was in a band that I joined in 2005 called Hemo Theory. You're, you can find us on Spotify and things along that line. In uh, 2007, the band went in the studio and recorded a CD. Self-recorded, you know, self-released, etc. So, the CD was then marketed through CD Baby, which is what a lot of bands did back then. The CD Baby system also put us on all the digital platforms, Spotify, Amazon, iTunes, all that stuff. So, we have digital play out there. And, of course, I would supply CD Baby with uh, CDs. Now, the CDs were never mass-produced. They were handmade. I printed them on my printer. I cut them out by hand. I folded them by hand. They were CDRs with late with you know printed right on the on the label, so they looked pretty decent for a CDR. And we gave them away at shows, sold them at shows, sold them online for you know minimal minimal amounts of money and stuff. And we sold them through CD Baby, which they of course sold for us. So just last week or so, I got an email from CD Baby saying they were reducing stock and they still had one of my CDs in stock, and they wanted to know, hey, you want to pay to ship it back to you, or do you want us to throw it away? And I thought, wow, I have not sent CD Baby a CD. So the album came out in 2007. I provided them CDs while they were selling for a while. But it's got to have been years since I've sent one to them. And they had one in stock. And I am like, huh, send it back. So I paid the $3 to get it shipped back. And it came in the mail today. So, and the one thing that's interesting about this is it's shrink wrapped. And I've, I never shrink wrapped them. So they shrink wrapped them. I've never seen one in shrink wrap, but this is the CD that I made, handmade, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, so I have a copy shrink wrap. Never seen one before. I mean, I have my own personal copy, but as far as copies with covers and printed CD, I don't even have that printer anymore. I can't print on a CD anymore. I have no way to make these again. This is like the last remaining official copy that was made in a batch. So it came back to me, and it made me think. You know. We spent seven days in the studio recording seven songs. Now, the thing that makes this tough is I was in the band in, in, until around 2011 or 12-ish. Our singer, Scott Till, had some liver issues, was waiting on the list to get a liver transplant, got a liver, finally came up on... I remember we went to the movies and we said goodbye to him because he was heading in to the hospital for this, uh, you know, for the liver transplant. And he went and he had the transplant and everything seemed to be fine. And after that, everything went downhill. Bleeding, they could never find why he was bleeding. He kept bleeding. He was in the hospital for, golly jeepers, I want to say probably two years, close to two years. And he was out, you know, way upstate, never got to see him. And he was just getting worse and worse and better and worse and not and whatever kept getting sick but anyway ultimately in april 2015 so seven years ago this month seven years ago about a week ago they just basically had to take him you know they let he he passed away and we did go up there the day before he passed or maybe it was two days before they expect him to pass that day or the next day and um got to see him for the first time i've seen him since the surgery probably close to two years before that and the last time I saw him so anyway this came in the mail kind of exciting to have a copy but also you know happened to be you know in the month of his passing it just brought back memories so what I've got here for you for the next like 16 minutes is a little 16 minute documentary type thing that we made from the hours of footage in the studio of us recording this CD and Scott's doing the narrating and it was just great to go back and revisit that. I, I kind of wish we had the original copy because this is, not, you know, nowadays everything's higher definition than what this video is. But I thought I'd share it, maybe more or less for me to document it on my site. It's on Facebook and stuff, but the old Hemo Theory site was taken down years ago. I just wanted to preserve this on my site, share it with you all. You know, feel free to go check this out. Hemo Theory Zeta, which means seven. You'll find it on all the digital platforms. You can buy it, you can download it, whatever, you can listen to it. Now, also in here, you'll see us with a, uh, with a, uh, there's a guy rapping in there. 
we did this song called Run. It was a collaboration with a local hip hop star, Sean Slaughter. We used to do this. We, we recorded this in his studio as a single. Whenever we would do concerts and he could come out, he'd come out and do it with us. So he did it for our album. It was a, you know, a single in there uh, for the album. It was the last song in there. And it is, it's like heavy metal with the rap, both guys rapping. And so you'll hear him doing his rap part. Now, in 2008, Sean released his new album, Man on Fire, and he put our song on there, too. So we appeared as a, uh, you know, Hemer Theory with Sean Slaughter. And so I've got footage of us at the CD release party. I'm probably going to be hitting my channel with a little bit of archival Hemo Theory stuff that I've been wanting to do for years since past, Scott passed away. Just kind of to archive uh, some of these old live footage and stuff. So I hope you're patient with me. But for now, enjoy this 16-minute or so documentary of us recording in the studio. It was a great time. Really the only time I've been in a real studio recording for this type of uh, album. So... That's all for now, though. Thanks a lot for watching. If you watch any further, if not, hey, thanks a lot for being here. Rock on and rock hard. So do you want to go ahead and we'll how, do it? How does that end? What do you mean, how does it end? Remember I went to, uh, remember I sang a cappella? He starts singing a cappella. I'm just a man. So it's going to be three parts? Three okay. parts. No, I, don't, I think we can do it one take. I'm just a man. Well, here we are, day one of recording one here at Grasshopper Studios in Chesapeake. And I'm just doing a little footage from behind the mic. We'll be back. Somebody else will get hammered tomorrow. We'll see. Guitar tracks for our newly structured run tune. It's day two. Hard to tell. That was sweet. Can you do it higher? One more time. Can you do it even higher? Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. I fight for a cause bigger than Bush, man. I'm losing ground, fam. Give me a push as I walk through the valley in the shadow of God. Where the paper is the red sea, the pen is my rod. And I'm fighting off wars of hate rhymes. The evil tongue is worse as hate crime. Shot with stick knives. Cats on the block think they walk with nine lives. Day lives. number Shorties three. Club, We're doing Sean Slaughter vocals Ready for the run. The Christ, the yeah. But every downfall, Christ took the wet lad. And if you're ready for freedom, then put your fist up. And watch it go to eat meat from a sip. See, I'm not blind to recognize this one thing. One, two. Okay, here we go. I fight for a cause bigger than Bush, man. I'm losing ground, fam. Give me a push as I walk through the valley in the shadow of God. Where the paper is the red sea, the pen is my rod. And I'm fighting off wars of hate rhymes. The evil tongue is worse as hate crimes. The sharp as thick knives. Cats on the block think they walk for nine lives. Shorties in the strip club shaking their nine knives. You better run to the guard in the quick fast. For every downfall, Christ took the red last. And if you're ready for freedom, then put your fist up. And watch it go to eat meat from a sip. See, I'm not blind to recognize this one thing. I use my one right to recognize the one king. And I'm running towards freedom's bell. Who runs the universe? It ain't hard to tell. Let's go. Okay, we're in day three. We just finished Sean Slaughter's vocal for Run, man, and it is hot off the hook. Anyways, right now we got Robin. He's playing some bass tracks, and uh, we got a little bit left to do, and then vocals go on, man, and the craziness will begin. Here's some Robin. Yo, yo, it's uh, April 20th, I believe. I'm not sure if this is day four or five, but uh, we're dropping some uh, lead vocals down on stuff tonight. Last night we dropped uh, about four songs. Tonight we're doing Run and the new Hippocrit song, so it's going to drop it like it's hot, y'all. We're listening to some uh, some Run right now for some embellishments, but it's going to be hot. Y'all, check it out. to see. see. This is yeah, yeah, yeah. Running and running, you walk out to break free. I've been battered and bruised from this wall inside. Anyways, that's what we're working on now, so it's uh it's a good thing. We'll talk to you later. Bye. Let's do it. Okay. The ha the ha I can get real closer. Okay. Ha! Um, what's the words? Uh, SPIT THESE WORDS! SPIT THESE WORDS! SPIT THESE WORDS! HA! 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 Do you want me to yell the ha's? Okay. Right there. Okay. During the guitar thing. Hello and welcome to day 45. Uh, right? Day 45? Uh, yeah. We're uh, hitting it hard and heavy on Sunday, the last day of our recording session, and uh, Jeremy West has dropped by to play some guitar on Freedom Song. And uh, I think we'll have Mike Henson doing keyboards and all that good stuff too, so stay tuned. Korea. Jeremy tuning the guitar. Korea. He's setting his mark on the oh, hotel recording. There's Scott recording, Jeremy recording. There's the Jeff guitar. recording, me recording, Jeremy recording the guitar. 
There's Robert standing behind Scott who's recording Jeremy doing nothing. He's recording me. Narrative by Jeff Mark's McCormick. Mark's taking up space. <laughs> He's just keeping the couch warm. Gloria. Sweet. Hotel. I don't want to work tomorrow. Okay. Who does? We'll be back. <laughs> No time to hesitate. Follow me tomorrow, and you might find it'll be too late. No time like the present. Thank you, man. tripping. I'm falling. I can't get up. <laughs> I'm falling and I can't get up. Alright, hey, what are the chords before you leave real fast? What are what the chords to uh, colors? colors? Do you know? Wait, wait, you're playing bass, right? Well, what are you yeah. playing? Uh, D, F, G, uh, Today's show brought to you by the letter G, D, F, C, D, E, F. D, F, G, B flat, C. Okay. 
Yeah, yeah okay. Yeah, hold yeah. that chord. Because you're going to... And then you're, you're going to be on. Right, okay. Because you're gonna have to we hold that. You're gonna have to hold that note when we punch you in. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and I might. Maybe we'll double it. Well, I'm giving I'm giving you enough tracks to do it. You know, get meaty with some lower and some. Well, you can and, double and, it and go even, back. And even in something more um, more futuristic, would be cool. Yeah, yeah. On top of that. Yeah. So can you do that again? Yeah. All right. This will be it. And when you. Do it two times around. Only two. Only yeah. do it two times. Yeah, around. yeah, I know. I, I'm just still feeling it out a little bit. Yeah. And on that one, on that last, just hold that third chord, not the fourth one. Okay. You know, don't resolve it. Bless Jeremy as he shoots the uh, video tonight and help everybody have fun. We lift this whole night to you in Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs> we lift the night up to you. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, that was funny. I knew he was going to work that in somewhere. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Picked up. That's why over there. <laughs> Deal.